Hello and welcome to another video with myself Chris from Serena the Budget and today's video is going to be another predictions video however this time round it's actually going to be a prediction videos for the premium leagues because I managed to get myself a pokeball this week which was excellent so um based on the kind of the knowledge that I've got um I've decided to go with the J league this week for my predictions. Now, my pookie ball was actually um, a New York Red Bulls one, um, but I think I'm just going to stick with uh, the J League on this occasion. So I've already done a little bit of research on it, and I'll kind of talk through it as I go um, and where I got it. I, I kind of jumped the gun and I put my first prediction in, um, which was going to be for uh, Yokohama uh, F. Marinos against Kashiwa Resol. Um, I don't see Resol picking anything up from it I um, so I've gone with a 4-1 which is a huge amount of points but um, what I've done is I've got sofa score open here as well I've looked at both teams kind of home and away forms and things like that for each of the clubs so this is where I've come up with the with the score line so I'm going to go through them as I do I am um, I'd say Kashiwa Racel have been a bit of a mess this season, so that's that's where I'm coming up with this one. Now, for the next game, which is uh, Cerezo Osaka and Visal Kobe. Visal Kobe have been playing very well this season. Um, I, I dabbled with the idea of being 2-0 uh, to Kobe, um, but I went with uh, uh, Cerezo 1, uh, Visal Kobe 2, based on goal scored this season and how things have been. Um, so I'm going to go with that in this one. Next one, it's the wild scoring and wild defending Consadol Sapporo. Um, now, I had two in mind for this one. I, I was going to go 3 2 to Consadol, but I'm going to plump for uh, 3 1. Reason being, I've looked at it. Um, Second Toso, I've got uh, nine goals for and 12 against uh, in their home games. And uh, Sapporo, I've got 21 goals <laughs> so far. And 17 against. So 3-2 is probably what I should go for. Um, and I'm probably letting my heart rule my head uh, in this one. I just feel that this is going to be a, a big win for Considole on the road. If it's 3-2, what's my points? My points are so much higher if I go 3-2. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go against myself. I'm going to go against myself. I'm going to go 3-1. I'll put it on the record I was going 3-1. I'm going to go 3-2. As you can see, it's a massive amount of points, and I think that could be key to victory. Um, Alberix uh, Nigata versus uh, Kyoto Sanga. I am going to go with a 2-2 draw in this one. And um, when we go back and have a quick look at the league, um, you could see that they uh, Alberix at home, kind of pretty poor, one win, three draws and four defeats, eight and 12. Uh, but I don't believe Kyoto was much better. Uh, it's two wins, one draw and five defeats, 11 and 14. I just feel it's ripe for a draw. Um, and I'm going with 2-2. Two -two. Um, I think, I, I, you know, just a, a decent score and draw on that one. So point stylers are pretty high. If these all come in, a good shout of winning. Next up, we've got uh, Nagoya Grampus and uh, Avispa uh, Fukuoko. Um, I always think of fuck you, okay. Um, but we are going to go with uh, a heavy home win. Um, three 0 is what I'm going for. Uh, a Vespa have been poor. Um, bottom of the league when it comes to the last, you know, for for their away games for the season, no wins, three defeats. Uh, sorry, three draws and four defeats, six goals for and twelve against. And if we switch that over to uh, Nagoya, we can see Nagoya. Four wins, four draws, 11 goals, six, uh, six conceded. I just see them being quite strong at home and I just don't see anything other than a Nagoya win and I'm, I'm, I think a hefty one. So 3-0 is going to be my score line there. Moving on, we have uh, Gambo Saka and we have um, FC Tokyo. Gamba, they've both been... Not great when it comes to the you know home and away. So let's have a look here. Uh, Gamba are sixteenth, one win, three draws, three defeats, eight and twelve for their goals. Um, away from home, Tokyo. Where were we? Tokyo, low end of the totem pole here. One uh, win, three draws, and five defeats, seven and fifteen, which led me to putting in Gamba being a narrow win. I don't see a clean sheet. I see you know two one. Seemed like a pretty safe uh, prediction in that one. 
Then we have uh, Kashima against Shonen. Now, this might be a wee bit controversial. I'm going with a 1-1 draw on this one. Uh, Kashima have been ex uh, well, been excellent away from home, as you can see. At home, they have uh, not been as strong. We've got two draws, two wins, and three defeats in a 10-10. And then Shonen away from home, um, one win, three draws and three defeats, 11 and 11. So 11 and 11 and 10 and 10 to me says draw. <laughs> so I have went with 1-1 one, one in that one there. Now we are on to Yokohama versus Urawa Reds. Um, I am going 1-2. Uh, Urawa are doing pretty well. Uh, Yokohama 15th uh, for their home forum. Two draws, one win, six defeats, eight and 19. Um, and Urawa away from home. They've not scored much, which is why I'm only going 2 1. If this was a home game for Urawa, I'd be going a much heavier score, maybe 3 0 even. Um, but with them being away, three wins, three draws, two defeats, seven and five, they're not scoring heavily away from home, which is why I'm going to go with a 1-2. A I potentially could have went 2-0, if I'm being honest, but um, I'll give Yokohama the benefit of the doubt and give them a goal. And then finally, um, probably one of the bigger games of the weekend is uh, Kawasaki versus Hiroshima. Now, uh, before I go to my predictions on it, Hiroshima away from home, uh, four wins, one defeat, and three, uh, sorry, one draw and three defeats. 11 goals, at four, nine against. However, if we go over to Kawasaki, they have not been performing particularly well this season. You're looking at, um, I actually clicked on them by mistake there. You are looking at two wins. Uh, now, it's taking it back off there. It was two wins, three draws, and two defeats. It's only seven goals for, so one goal a game, and six against. Uh, so they've been pretty stingy, um, but they've not performed particularly well. But like I say, Hiroshima, with their 11 goals away from home, nine uh, against... I am going with a, a away victory and I'm going away victory by two goals to nil. And that, my friends, is my predictions for the J League this week and my pookie predictions overall. Um, you can see the rewards here for the, the game weeks in the premium leagues. Um, there are basically just over half the players are getting prizes. Um, and it's ranging from, you know, a very little amount of Matic, which would only work at, you know, a pound or two, um, all the way up to the top end, which is 66, which is about 50 quid's worth, I think. So, you know, it's it's a decent reward if you're getting into that top end. And even if you're into the top, you know, top uh, 10 or so, you're getting a decent return on that. And if you're building that up over the course of the weeks, then, you know, you could look to buy a new pookie ball and get some extra extra, uh, you know, leagues that you can play there as well, just purely because of the amount of points that it takes for predictions. 10 points per prediction, so you're going to need a few pookie balls if you want to play in multiple leagues, but it does open them all. So when it comes to the new, you know, the new European season, if it's some of the smaller leagues, you might actually be able to get two leagues playing, um, you know, and get predictions in both. But this is where I'm going to go for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, there will be a link in the description below and also on the tweet um, to sign up if you're interested in getting started. Um, you can go to uh, go.pookie.gg forward slash surveyor on the budget and that will get you signed up and uh, get involved and add me as a rival. I'm, I'm quite happy to, you know, and intrigued to see how everybody does against each other. So with that, guys, take care. I will speak to you all again soon with a brand new video. The next one's probably going to be surveyor related. Um, however, you know, I will keep you posted with any of the predictions. Take care, guys. I will speak to you all again soon.